everyone, it's Erin and welcome back to a new YouTube channel. Channel? Video? What am I saying? Anywho, um, today we're going to be talking a little bit about how to start your own online business and small business, mind you. Um, and these are just some of my tips from my experience, so it may not apply to everybody, but if you're someone like me that just wants to have this, you know, kind of side hustle thing to kind of, you know, create art that you enjoy and sell it out to people and have, you know, not consistent customers, but just more or less have a platform where, you know, you get all sorts of different people. Sometimes you get people that buy your art from you like once a month and then there's some people that, you know, will just buy it and you won't ever see them again. So it's like, it's a very weird, you know, concept to think about when it comes to starting your own online art uh, store, you know, online. So today I'm going to be showing you kind of some of the tips that I have for you when it comes to you know, having your own shop, your own website, or whatever you'd like to do. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Um, as you can see, I am sharing my screen here um, to kind of show you my link tree of just some things that I think, for those of you that are starting off, um, could really benefit from. I do want to kind of do a little shout out for my website because if you go to my free printables page, and scroll down a bit and get to after all of these you know mental health things I have a free printable um, that you can download and it is called setting up your art brand um, and art shop um, packet and basically these are all just tips and guides um, that can help you get started um, even if you already have started and you just have been seeing not so much growth, these are some really good tools to kind of use to kind of, you know, expand your growth a little bit. So we're going to be using this as kind of a guide for this video. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you really want to do is create your brand. Basically, how can you stand out? So for me, my big thing that I like to use is my drippy smiley face. I'm even wearing it on a shirt right now. Anytime somebody sees a drippy smiley face, they kind of automatically think Star Sketch um, or just the overall trippy theme. So um, find your niche. You know, my niche is more or less like trippy, psychedelic art, and sometimes I mix in some things that I like like some Disney aspects or, you know, some like just various different things and just find something that can make you unique and stand out that makes you different because this was something that took me a very long time <laughs> to figure out. Um, the drippy smiley face just kind of came to me one day um, that just kind of, you know, stuck. And um, so you're not going to probably find it right away. But just try out some things. If you find yourself really connected to rainbows, um, then maybe, you know, think about how you can incorporate it into your artwork. Um, I know my friend Breezy Art Collections that I follow on Instagram, her big thing is the scream face. So she always includes the scream face in every single aspect of her artwork, which is something I'm trying to do when it comes to my drippy smiley face. Maybe not every single one, but most of them. Um, and these are some questions that you can ask yourself like in order to help find the niche, which are what, are art, what art skills or mediums are you good at? Which of those art skills and mediums do you truly enjoy? And which of your art skills are needed and people would pay big money for? This is just some questions to kind of ask yourself depending on where you want to go with it. The next kind of part is to figure out a simple yet effective name. So for example, as we all know, my business is called Star Sketch with two H's. The reason for the two H's is very simple. Somebody had already taken the one H. So I kind of decided to add two H's at the end to kind of make it different. And ever since then, it's just kind of stuck. I've tried changing my name in the past and I've asked, you know, followers and such like, 
would you guys be interested in this theme? And everybody just, whenever they think of my artwork, they always think of the two H's. So it just kind of stuck. Um, it'll probably change in the future once this becomes like an actual brand. Um, but for now, it just, it works. Um, Star, the first part, um, that's like my online nickname. If somebody, if I don't know them personally or anything like that, um, I tend to let people call me Star. And then Sketch, you know, drawing, artwork, etc. So, um, it just kind of made sense. With the whole star thing too, I try to make it, the message be like that you are the star also. Um, so yeah, so I try to figure out a, a name. Um, and I even right here, I came up with the, with star sketch, very simply star. I've always called my communities little stars. That's also true. And sketch, sketch for drawing and two H's because star sketch was already taken as I put there. Um, and then you can put your name there in the packet. And now the next part is social media. So now that we know what name, um, we also want to figure out the logo. So for me, my logo has changed a lot. So if you actually head over to my Etsy shop, you can actually see my two different logos. This was my original logo and I just have always kept it, you know, but my updated one is this one and it's constantly going to be updated. So that's something to keep in mind is that even if you come up with your first logo, you're most likely going to have it changed. So um, just keep that all in mind when it comes to, you know, your brand and how you want to present yourself. Next is social media. You definitely want to utilize um, social media with these three different platforms. For example, Instagram. I myself have Instagram um, and I use it every single day, especially the stories aspect. I didn't post any stories yet today as it is very early in the day, but you know, it just, it's a very good outlet to have because I feel like everybody has Instagram or knows somebody that has Instagram and having the reels and the regular posts and going live on there. I hate how this is my little thing here for my recent live, but you know what? It's fine. It is so totally fine. And I do a mix of coloring and my art stuff so it's just all art related in general and I do make sure that I put in my bio that I'm an artist and colorist aka I also will be posting coloring stuff. I also have here in my highlights you know about life, spirituality, mental health, my art, and weight loss. Um, those are just some aspects of my life that I like to share with you guys. You know mental health is a big part of my artwork. Um, that's where it stems a lot of inspiration from. And um, yeah, so be sure when you have your Instagram to have all your pictures be the same. So for example, here I have this and it's the same thing um, over on my Etsy and it's spread across all social media platforms as the same picture. It just makes it simpler and try your best to try to keep the same username. I was able to um, discontinue my old account for Star Sketch, so I think I should be able to change this back to Star Sketch and make this, you know, just Star Sketch. Um, but try to keep everything kind of the same. I tend to always keep mine as Star Sketch or Star Sketch Art or Star Sketch Artist. So um, it's just easy to find everybody um, or find my profiles. For everybody to be able to go on there um, and I even list on here in my little packet of some things that you can create and post on Instagram so for example example sorry picture posts uh, reels Instagram TV Instagram lives Instagram stories you could do giveaways once you get to certain milestones and you can even collaborate with other artists on art projects that's how I started off was a lot of collaborations and I haven't done them in a while and I kind of miss that so I could always go back to it you know YouTube YouTube is a huge platform that is the majority of my following is through YouTube to be honest I have 624 subscribers and as you can see I have my face here but I also have my typical banner here but I did edit it so then it kind of says my YouTube schedule 
Um, and this is where it's like more personal, but also very informative. Um, because I tend to post a lot about like this workbook series I'm doing that was a sponsorship thing. Um, I also have been doing, you know, art with star, bunch of workbook series, spirituality is still intact, mental health, um, my Erin Talks playlist, which is a playlist, uh, the podcast playlist, so then if you guys want to just listen to it instead of watching the videos, you can. I have some travel vlogs, art with star when I do live streams, coloring stuff, journaling stuff. So it's not just art stuff for me, but if you are looking to just focus on artwork, these are kind of some of the things that you can focus on, like tutorials, go live uh, for a longer time than Instagram, tours, so like you can post like an art room tour or your desk tour, sketchbook tour, uh, show off your art supplies, etc. Also utilize YouTube Shorts. You can repost Instagram Reels to your YouTube Shorts, or you can use TikTok. TikTok is also a big, you know, you it, like in Instagram and um, TikTok. I kind of put hand in hand, but yeah. Those are definitely some things and like any trends in your niche. So for example, if there is a trend of the three marker challenge, for example, you could just use three markers to create a piece of artwork and make a video on that. Um, and then make sure you are doing live streaming. You could do um, Instagram, YouTube, you could use Twitch, TikTok, and you could create overlays via OBS or Streamlabs. Um, and that's what I use typically when I go live like this so you guys can see me You can see the, sh the screen that I'm sharing or you could just see me like this or you could have a BRB screen or you can have a start stream The stream is starting screen, you know, you can get really creative with it and um, That would really make your live stream stand out. I also sometimes use my phone as a second webcam for you guys to see um, when I color or do some painting or whatever the case is for the live stream. So highly, highly recommend doing that, especially to get your products out there, you know? Um, so the next part is to actually create your website and store. So once you are on social media, posting about your artwork, hyping people up saying, I'm going to be making a store. Be sure that you have at least five paintings to start off with. I only started with a couple and I was, you know, really overwhelmed by the reaction to it, which was all positive, trust me. Um, but uh, basically, after you pump, uh, like, kind of pump up the, you know, anticipation of the store opening and everything with all those posts that you've been posting on your social medias, now is the time to create your website and store. Now, I first want you to start off on Instagram and Linktree. This is my Linktree, uh, link, uh, linktree.ee slash starsketch. This is a perfect way to keep all of your social medias in one place. I highly recommend it. There's other platforms that are similar to Linktree, but I just prefer Linktree personally. But again, do your own research if you find something that's much more suitable. Um, and just start off with the basics. Set up a link tree. It's a free website builder to add links in all your socials and to your store. And utilize Instagram to promote yourself and show off your content and portfolio. So Instagram is just a nice way to reach out to people and TikTok. Um, do your research. Definitely go on YouTube. Um, and research the tips from professionals in your niche to learn specifically on how to grow your brand. Say specifically you're doing landscape art. Definitely do research on other landscape artists on YouTube and how they um, do all of that. I highly recommend this one YouTube channel, which I will pull up here from my list of, you know, YouTube channels here. Um, I highly, highly recommend, if I can find her real quick, um, this is a great YouTuber, here she is, Kelsey Rodriguez. Highly recommend her when it comes to art and business content because she breaks down exactly how, like, for example, she does this podcast. 
Instagram strategy for artists, you know, finding balance in work and art, um, basically how to start selling your art, top tips, you know, tips for artists, how to become an art YouTuber, highly recommend her, I will put a link to her channel down in the description below, she is honestly great when it comes to the research of all of this. Next is actually creating the shop, and you could use Etsy or Shopify, which as you guys can see, I personally use Etsy, that's how I started off, um, but honestly, again, do your research, whichever one that you prefer, and just, you know, um, however, I would not recommend as they are lowering the income creators make from their sales, I would personally recommend creating a shop through the Instagram shop feature, they have uh, to have everything in one place, um, that way you are in one place rather than several different places. Yeah, so if you, um, don't want to create an Etsy right away to commit to, you know, not getting enough income from it, you can make your own Instagram shop thing. However, I did find out that you cannot get the Instagram shop thing until you get to a certain number of followers. So in this case, opening an Etsy or Shopify is definitely better. Um, and eventually, don't start off with this unless you'd like to, um, create your own domain, which for me, I have my own website, starsketch.com, which is loading right here. Um, I'm going to, yeah, it's loading, okay. Um, starsketch.com, and this is where you can also shop my products and also see my books and freebies and um, see what's featured, join the Star Sketch community, you know, it's kind of like a, a hub almost for every little aspect of everything when it comes to my brand. So I didn't start off with that. It kind of took me a while before I decided to create my own website, but I do consider, I, I would consider building your own website um, to have it be a hub for your brand, as I just said. <laughs> and then this is your brand plan in the um, printable here, so you can write your niche, your brand name, social media contact you like to post, your website slash link tree plan there, and then that's the end of the guide. Um, but some other things I wanted to mention is that you could definitely open up a third party um, merchandise shop. This is nice to have in the beginning because it's completely free to set up. Um, and yeah, you basically just take any digital pieces that you've made and put them up on the shop and you choose what items you want to display these on, et cetera, et cetera. And it's just a nice little other outlet to do. Um, you could also do membership stuff. So for example, using Buy Me A Coffee or Patreon to basically promote your art and get people to have pay a monthly fee to support you. Um, you can also, like I said, the live streaming thing, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, wherever you can. Um, and the last thing that I definitely recommend is having a Discord server. I could definitely go into another whole video <laughs> on how to set up a Discord server for your art brand and how you can basically do all that. Um, this is kind of just an umbrella video where if any of you guys would like to know, you know, um, certain things about, you know, how to set up a merchandise shop or how to set up an Etsy shop or anything like that, leave those comments below so that I can make those videos specifically for you. Um, but other than that, that is going to be the video for today. Definitely, if you have not already, head over to my website and download this free printable, Setting Up Your Art Brand and Shop for Beginners. I have so many other free printables in here too, like Sprinkling Your Life, Single Summer Checklist, um, some worksheets, like a Summer Gist ch Checklist, <laughs> and I have some free wallpapers also over on my website. So definitely go check that out. And again, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.